This is V and Y, and we're going to open up the ATTE. Walker, right? So this is the Clone Wars Republic tank, or I'm sorry, uh, Walker. And we have been waiting. How long have we been waiting for this? Um, like forever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I didn't expect it from the, to be this giant. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure. We'll, we'll see how big this thing is. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty big um, based on the amount of pieces and just everything like that that's included and how many people that you can put inside of it. Um, this was very hard to get, though, huh? Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> we had to uh, go out just like everybody else and go hunting for this. And we were monitoring the Lego site for the longest time. It said, coming soon, coming soon. It was supposed to get released. Well, actually, it said released in August. And then it moved to coming soon because there was delays. And then eventually, I think last week, we were able to uh, go on the website on Lego website and order one. But it was back ordered until November. Um, but we were persistent. Um, we kept calling the uh, Lego store that's close to us, and that's in a mall. Kids, ask your uh, parents what a mall is. <laughs> um, and we found a Lego store in a mall that um, actually had one today. And so well, we've had this less than 24 hours, and we're going to do the build and um, post it because it's just such a cool item, right? Yeah. Hello, we have invaded your planet for your most precious resources, your toys. If you like Legos and Star Wars, then smash the subscribe button. Your support is much appreciated and will help us make other videos like this in the future. And it also has that thingy. It doesn't show it in the character thingy, but it comes with that, like, alien thingy that little droid. uh spider droid looking thing yeah um all right so let's look at the package and then we're gonna get into the build and a new commander cody yeah commander cody's that's like super awesome huh? you were excited star wars from lego star wars the skywalker song. oh which um who does commander cody work with which jedi um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Captain Rex, he works with him too. Yep. And what's cool is you'll notice the Jedi Starfighter has the reddish color, the tank has the reddish color, and then now the walker has the reddish color in the front. So you can see in this series that that is the uh, color uh, scheme that they went with and with the, the Clone Wars. And the top. Yep. Yep. All right. So let's look at the box. Okay. So here we are. We're going to check out the box, right? You want to show it off? Like, what do you see on it? Yep. So who is the troopers that we got in the front? So we got Commander Cody. Uh -huh. We got some of, like, Commander Cody's troops and Obi-Wan. And we got, like, one of those troops. Like, I had one of those troops, but they had, like, a spiky one. But yeah. This one. The gray one. Like, the yeah. grayish colored one. So and he is... What is what unit is this? They're all 212 troopers. So this is a 212... Um, division with Commander Cody with that report to Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? And then you got some additional battle droids. And then this grayish soldier here, or uh, maybe brown, not sure what color scheme that is. I think that's, that's just the gray. clone. That's the gunner, right? Yeah. Since up there on, the, like on the big choose, gun. You can like choose whoever gunner you want. Yep. Over here, too, we got a... Um, it looks like maybe a possible spider droid, but like you said, right, like this droid may not be on the actual, might not actually be in there. We're not sure. I think it is. I don't know why they would put it on the box. Okay, so we're pretty sure that that spider droid will be in there. I'm um, not sure. Because <laughs> it doesn't show any sure. many All right, so on this one, so this is uh, item 75337. Officially right. named the A-T-T-E Walker, right? Or Something... Republic Tank because I don't know it. Yeah, that's what I call it too is a Republic Tank or Republic Walker. Uh, um, and then this one has 1,082 pieces. Um, how long do you think this thing's going to take to build? All like all the clone stuff we could find. 
all the stuff combined, like all the other builds, you think yeah, it's like gonna take that long? All the clone troopers, even the battle droid tanks. Mm hmm Everything. How do you how long do you think all of this is gonna take to build? Ten hours. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take ten hours. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna take us two hours because with the ship, um, I wanna say that this one took us about an hour about an hour maybe an hour and five minutes something like that if i remember right and then this one took us like an hour and 15 to hour and 20 minutes yeah, but and i think yeah. we're moving slow on this one i'm guessing that this thing is going to be at least the amount of time that it took to build both of those so we'll see how long it takes yeah but those are just tiny ships this is a giant one well i'm hoping the pieces are just really big if the pieces are really big, maybe we'll get lucky. If there's a ton of small pieces, it might take forever. It might take, there's a little bit more small pieces on like the front. Yeah, this is a, a good look at the back of the box, right? And what do you notice on the back? Um, like I noticed that like it can turn. Mm -hmm, the turret. And I think I know why it turns. Because how are you supposed to get that out? Yeah, I don't know. This up symbol might be this piece coming up, but it could also be maybe the, something to do with the movement of the legs, Wait, perhaps. I think it may, there's, see that thing pointing up? Mm -hmm. It must be like, is there something that can point up? Yeah. Like a laser cannon or something? And then your gunner guy up here can also like what, drive the, the tank? He can be the and, walker driver? Three people can fit in the walker seats. Okay. Uh, so you pretty excited for this one, man? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, and then it gives us a couple more battle droids. I'm pretty sure, I'll bet you anything that's in there. Disney! Um, I hope so, because we don't have one of those, so it'll be neat. Can I tell you how they take out those, like, droid thingies? How? They jump on top of them, and then they shoot their head. Oh, yeah, you've seen that in Clone Wars, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, we're going to um, clear off some space, get to building, and time it out, and we will show you guys what the final product looks like. I hope it doesn't take 10 hours. Yeah, I hope the force is with us on this build, huh? So All right, so we just unloaded the bags. And there's and so much. There's six sets, but it seems like three four five and six have two separate bags themselves and look how thick this book is i mean it's almost thicker than your pinky so i'm a little scared uh, <laughs> as to how long this is actually going to take to build but uh we're going to get going it's gonna be big. yep i'm going to start the timer all right all right so we opened up the manual and here we go we got the timer going all right, so we're going to put that back here, keep us honest. So we're done building the ATTE and we put it in my battle. Yeah. So this is just a little of what is to come. We uh, built it and before we finished the video, he wanted to definitely play with it. And then, so then it turned into setting up everything else. Uh, so we're planning on having some major epic battles and this is just a preview or prelude to what will come next. Stay tuned. Okay, so we finally finished the walker, right? Yeah. So that was two hours and 43 minutes total for this build. Yeah, one day. Yeah, so we did the math right there. So that's how long it took to build this thing. Um, and then you, you'll you notice too that this book is... Uh, Super big. Yeah, it's 210 pages. As you can see right here at the bottom, 210 pages. So it's pretty lengthy, um, which is uh, why it took so long to build. But what you'll notice, though, as well, is what? Do you like this thing? Yeah. It's is it giant. One, is it one of the coolest ones ever? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> taller than that one. Maybe the same height as that. Okay. So you, you want to show it off a little bit and tell mm -hmm. us like what's really cool about this? Mm-hmm. That one can open up too, but this one can too. Okay. Sometimes the sky falls out because there's like no like Lego things under, like... underneath. Okay. It's just like flat. All right. So he gotcha. will like fall off. Not a problem. And and then both sides can open up and right. you can like fit two people in here. Uh-huh. And they like sit down, right? And then yeah. is that the one that comes out? Yeah. Oh no. And then what put some soldiers sitting down in their seats? Yeah, it's way more easier to like put down soldiers. Okay. Yes, finally. Okay. So then they just sit right in there, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can play in. Yep. And then now to the front, right? You want to show the front? Here, I want to show, show them the coolest part. Well, this is the part that Dad likes the most because it's it allows you to just move this thing around wherever you want. This. There's like a little it's handle. It's way more easier to like when this is closed. Yep. And this is like you can pretend it like gets dropped by one of those like. Yeah, like the gunship came in and just yeah. dropped it. By, that usually so the lever soldiers. itself is very small. It just pops right up and you can stick your two fingers under it and just pick it up. It's like not a problem. And then this is the front, right? Yeah. So let's take a look at the front. That's cool. There's a clone guy just driving the tank. Just minding his own business, getting ready for action. And then that comes out of there too, right? Mm -hmm. And that just slides right out. And there's little control thingies. Uh -huh. And there's like little holes, so like these thingies go in. So it just slides right in, right? And then you push it down. Okay. All right. Now what? This thing's on so many glasses. I know. So you can put two guys in the middle, one guy in the front, one guy in the cannon. So that's four up front. And then you can put how many more back here? At least five. Wait. Yeah. Like five. Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's each one of these tan seats is a seat that they can sit on, right? So like all the guys can sit in there because I counted the characters. Yep. So all the guys can just sit in the back if they need to, right? Yeah. So this troop carrier will hold 10 troops total, right? And it has a little fire extinguisher. Okay. In the back right there. So that's really cool. So like Commander Cody can sit in here too, right? A little coffee cup. Next to his coffee cup so he can have his morning, his morning coffee while he's uh, planning out the day of taking, uh, battle taking droids. out those battle droids, those pesky battle droids. Pew pew. All right, you want to shut it? Let's see what it looks like when it's shut. All right, so then those doors come shut just the same as the and um, like little front ones do. There's little things that you could put there, so like. Yep. There we go. So like. It just like connects, right? Yeah. All right, and then, so then it's got its back turrets. This is what it looks like. And then you want to move the wheels around while I hold it. Like as you move it around, the wheels or the uh, walkers dangle and move pretty good, right? Like they just and naturally adhere to whatever, however you put it down. Wobbly legs. Uh huh. Which is nice because it, if you put it on like a crazy surface, it would just like stand on its side. So the design of this is actually really smart. Mm-hmm. So that is really cool. It's like one of the, um, I don't know. I think this is like my favorite. I piece. think they're most gray than red. Yeah. Most of the red is in the front and the back and stuff. And then like we mentioned before, you'll notice that they have a common theme with the color schemes right now with this like uh, burnt red or uh, burgundy color that goes along with the, uh, either the gray or the white for the, uh, 
clone side of the of the war and then they did come out with some blue stuff at the 501st which is the, the walker and the speeder bike back here and then the most recent bad guy tank came out just with the blue lining around it the previous one was all brown and the one from like 20 years ago i think was all brown all right and then this one came off that dwarf spider droid too right yeah which is really cool because that's like one of our first ones of those right yeah and i think it didn't show it in the character thing because it wasn't technically a person got it a droid and it was too big yeah because you were worried that it was on the box but it wasn't down here with the characters so you weren't sure that it was going to come with it so i guess they consider it like a vehicle and not a character maybe that's why they just didn't list it there but it's still a character. But it's neat to have that, huh? Because now that adds to our our clone and uh, droid battle, right? Mm-hmm. So, oh, and the other cool thing is too, right? Like Commander Cody. That's like a huge deal, right? Because he technically hasn't come out previously. Well, he may have come out with previous sets, but it's been some time. So you want to show off Commander Cody? Yeah. And you can also, it comes with like these are the only two things that comes with. Like you can make Commander like clones. Okay, so you can use the scopes on it or you can and use many the visors. And mini guns. Gotcha. And this is like the Commander Cody from Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Oh, yeah. It has a different face from the like other clones because its mouth is open and the other clones don't have mouths open. Okay. And it has the same helmet as that guy. As the tank driver, right? Yeah. Okay, which I think we put in here. Yes. I think we put him inside, and he is right here. We'll take this metal piece out. So, like, their helmets look the same, mm -hmm. and they have, like, the same things. Mm -hmm. But they're, like, they, like, had added battle damage to this one, and they added, like, some stuff on it. Mm -hmm. So, like, they are the same, but they look different. Okay, so... From and battle then, damage. And then we'll set them up. So this is a closer look at the troopers, right? Mm -hmm. So you got Commander Cody, and he's got the additional orange markings on the bottom of his um, helmet. And they're not yellow. Oh, sorry, orange. Yeah, you always like to correct me on that. And then you got the, uh, what's the 2 12th and they all look, trooper right back there? And they all technically look the same. Mm-hmm. So like that one looks is the same, but they have different blasters. Yeah. Two of them have the same, one of them don't. The driver. So this thing is neat. All right, so we're gonna move some of this other stuff and then we'll show you. Quit spinning around this thing. This is uh, something that's kind of cool with the durability of this, watch. Like, you can kind of drop it from a height 
and it will still hold up. So this one is actually built pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't suggest dropping it too high. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> but, <laughs> yeah, he always hates when I, I uh, test the durability of his toys. Um, but this one, um, I mean, you, it's cool because it's just, it shows you how like well put together it is. I've had other uh, ones and sets that I put together in the past and like the slightest vibration sometimes pops off the side or something like that. This one is uh, pretty good. If anything, the only thing that's gonna pop out is these little turrets from time to time. Um, they'll pop out of there, but um, nothing too crazy. They pop right back in within seconds. Uh, the overall um, build on it took a while. So that was just be prepared for a good two and a half hours to two hours and 45 minutes worth of building. In one day? <laughs> one day, several days, however long it takes you to do it. Um, but the, the colors, the functionality, the cool factor, all that stuff is awesome. The only other problem that you run into with these bigger uh, vehicles like this, one is the cost. And then two is you, where do you put it? <laughs> so storage for it. And we haven't figured out where we're going to store this thing just yet. Uh, this one, so. that clone looks different from that one. Yeah. I think, I think this one is like an older version than that one. Maybe. Yeah. And we may have gotten that other one at Comic-Con. I don't know, maybe it's not a legit one or something. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on the A22E and the Chrome Thank you. See you in the Chrome Wars. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the future. And if you get a chance, like and subscribe, please. Thanks.